Bienvenidos a Lightspeed Spanish. Bienvenidos. This is um, a podcast. No, it's not. It's a video cast, indeed. With podcast. Podcast and video. With a podcast, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's a mixed cast. And we are talking about the difference, but, well, about trying in the past. Trying, trying, okay? And this is for early intermediate. Así que, nos vemos en la segunda parte. So this suggestion comes from Byron Shearer. Byron Hello, Byron. Okay. Nice name, nothing, Byron. Nothing, nothing wrong. I think I, I don't think there's any out. problem with pronouncing <laughs> that name. I think we're fine on the pronunciation. Byron Shearer. Uh, and he says, Hi, Gordon and Cynthia. Many Spanish textbooks claim that the past tense of querer means tried. Okay. Does this mean to ma made an effort, proceeded, or both? Uh -huh. I understand why he's asking that. So he okay. gives he gives a couple of uh, uh, um, options. Intenté ayudarlo. Okay, and quise ayudarlo. So I tried to help him, I tried to help him. Yeah, or I tried and I wanted to help him. Okay. So, first of all, I think what we should do is... What was vibrating then? No idea. Something vibrated. <laughs> My phone, perhaps. So... What I thought we could do is talk about, um, first of all, if we look at querer, okay? Okay. Typically, typically, and th this one's slightly different, but typically with querer, we have two different ways of using it in the past. The preterite, which is quise, and quería, the imperfect, yeah? Mm -hmm. So, typically, the way it works is this. If I say quise, I wanted to do something and I did it. For example, and you, you, you tell me if I'm on the right track. Quise, quise, quise ir con ellos a la fiesta. So in your mind, did I go to the party or not? Quise ir con ellos a la fiesta. Um, is there any more information? No. What's the sense that you get? Quise ir con ellos. It, it depends if you said to me. Uh, fui porque quise ir con ellos a la fiesta. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. I went because I wanted to go with them. Yeah. Then, yes. Okay. Um, what about this one, though? Let's try this one. No quise ir a la fiesta. Did I go? No. Yeah, no. This is interesting because it's in the negative. When you say, no quería ir a la fiesta, did I go? I don't know. Yeah. No quería, but then they convinced me, and then I went. Or no quería, and then I finally didn't go. It's an yeah. open, open. It's kind of like talking end. about how you were feeling about it at the time. Oh, I didn't want to go, and yeah. then. Yeah. And know. and with the imperfect, it tends to be, um, not always, but it tends to be an open end. It's like a film, and the film hasn't finished, so you don't know how it's going to finish. Yeah. Did you go? Did you not go? Uh huh. Yeah. But I think what happens the other way on the positive side with with uh, quise, because really, yes, when you say quise, you're saying I wanted, all yeah. right. But what what the the emphasis is when you use the preterite, it's a finished action, all right. Yes. So it, what it's doing is it's changing want. I had the intention, I wanted, into action, which which means that it changes it from want to try. I tried to help him. I did try to help him. That's the quise ayudarlo, yeah? But then he didn't want it, or it didn't work out, or uh -huh. I couldn't. We don't know, yeah? So I think that's why it's a slightly different to what, what we've talked about in the past, where when you if you change want into action, it becomes tried, yeah? I, I wanted to open that door. Quise abrir esa puerta. Yeah, even in the in the English, we know that we didn't necessarily open the door. We don't know. Um, I don't know if it all, it would always imply physical action, for example, because mm -hmm. you could say, "I wanted to open the, that door," but you didn't do anything to open the door. You just mm. wanted it open. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I don't think it necessarily implies that you actually tried to open the door. You mm -hmm. could say, I wanted to open that door so badly 
I wanted to slap her in the face. Would you, if you were saying, I wanted <laughs> to open... That doesn't mean you did. I wanted to open that door so badly. Tried. What would you go for in Spanish then? I wanted to open that door so badly. Quería abrir la puerta. Yeah. But you've used imperfect. Yeah. If you said, quise abrir esa puerta. <sighs> quise abrir esa puerta. Does it, Maybe do you, you did a, try. I'll tell you why. Because when, you when I say in English, I wanted to open that door, I've got the, the, the idea of me going, oh, for goodness sake. Yeah. Which might translate itself more into quise abrir esa puerta, yeah. pero no pude. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Whereas you're looking at the door, quería abrir esa puerta, the intention, without any action. Imperfect intention without action, really, isn't it? Uh -huh. in, these, in these verbs, the querer verb. Tends to be. I mean, yes, it could be that you actually did try. Yeah. Physically. But we don't Which, know. It's, the jury's out. So it's, it's one of those, like, there's an implication that maybe you did give it a go, but when you say uh, quería, really the, the idea, quería ayudar, ayudarlo, the idea was that that's what I felt inside, but well, probably I just didn't get around to doing it. Yeah? Um, so the, the, the preterite's <laughs> always action. It's always action, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So those people who always <laughs> sit, sit at home with a fag and a coffee saying, hey, when I finish this coffee, I'm going to do this and that. They're the, the imperfect people, yeah? The imperfect, yeah. yeah. <laughs> es que quería, quería hacer footing, pero bueno. But it was too yeah. cold. Yeah, yeah. Um, so going back to that, mm -hmm. could you not translate that, um, for example, if we use the example that Byron uh, gave us here. Intenté ayudarlo, quise uh -huh. ayudarlo. Um, what would you What would you say in English? Intenté ayudarlo, quise ayudarlo. I, I tried to help him. And I wanted to help him. Could you say I wanted to help him? Or if, I mean, you could, but typically, if I say, look, I wanted to help him, I'm not seeing much action in that. So but it's just it, in your head that like you yeah. you had the idea of helping exactly. the person, but, but you actually didn't. If I was I was right next to him and I wanted to help him, but he didn't want to, then maybe I would feel more like the action. You know, I was here. Come, come on, let me help you. So you would use, you would go for I tried for I tr that one I tried instead to of help I, I yeah. wanted. Yeah, I tried to help. It's more common. Like that. That's you doing some action. I think um, I think this is easier than you know. I think we're making a big deal of all of this. Quise ayudarlo, I would have said, I wanted to help him. Yeah. Like, that would be my first translation. Uh -huh. Could you say, I made an effort or I tried to help him? Yeah, maybe in some contexts it would be both. It would be the same. Yeah. You know, you uh -huh. did it because you wanted to. Mm -hmm. So you, you tried to help him because you wanted to help him. Yeah. But I don't think... Um, it's such a big difference in, within the two languages. No, no. I think the key thing to remember is just this, that when you use the imperfect with querer, let's just talk about querer because it doesn't apply to all verbs. When you use imperfect, that's the quería. That's more the intention, that you, the, what you want to do. It isn't what you did. Necessarily, it could be, but it's, it's just talking about the that's intention. That's what I mean. So if you say, quise ayudarlo... In my head, it doesn't necessarily mean that I actually did help him. Yeah. Do you know? Yeah. It just takes the want into Maybe. a try. It depends on the context. Mm -hmm. If I had context, if I if I had a sentence with context, then, then yes, it could maybe be translated as I try to help him. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But on its own, quise ayudarlo is I wanted to help him. Yeah. So you would have to have a context. Exactly. For me to translate... He said you that a lot as I tried to help him. Yeah. That's, yeah. What, I, that's what I mean. On its own, it would be the same. Mm. I wanted to help him or I tried to help him. Intenté ayudarlo. Yeah. Anyway, if, if for the sake of clarity, just go for intenté if you actually tried. Just what I was going to say. If, you, if you're yeah. worried about b between quise and quería. But look, again. Just yeah, but the, the problem is not quise and quería. The problem is intentar and querer. It's yeah. it's whether it's translating quise as want or help, uh, um, uh, tried I should say, want or tried. So it's what what I said to you before. If I said I helped him because I wanted to help him, 
Lo ayudé porque quise ayudarlo. Mm -hmm. So I did help him. Yeah. You see? Yeah. So that wouldn't, you wouldn't, that, that would be your first choice because you did help him and you would use quise anyway. Yeah. So in English, I helped him, be, I helped him because I wanted to. I wanted to. You would say I tried to I help wanted him. to. Yeah. Um, quise ayudarlo, pero no, no aceptó mi ayuda. I tried to help him, yeah. or I wanted to help him, but he refused my help. In yeah. that case, you could translate it as I tried, because he refused me. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He refused my uh -huh. help. So mm -hmm. the, in that context, yes, I tried to help him. So the, the action... You, you see, you need a context yeah. for that. The, the action of um, the... The preterite's always action. So when in that sentence, that option that you've just given is, the action is you trying. I tried. Even though it, you weren't successful, I the action it. is you trying. I did the trying. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. I completed it's the done. trying. It's done. I finished the trying or the wanting. Yeah. 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 Uh, that is finished. And then he refused. Yeah. So that's why we used, we would use the, the press rate there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yes, in that context, yes, I could say in English, I tried to help him, but he refused. Yeah. Or he refused my help. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That would be okay. <laughs> okay, that's the summary of. So, if you want to know, if you want to know more about the the way that the preterite works with some verbs like querer, um, eh, poder, to be able, we've already covered these. Just to help yeah. you understand that when poder. you use it with the the preterite, the action tense, it changes the meaning to when you use it with the imperfect tense. Okay, so we've already done that. If you if you're listening to us thinking. What are they talking about? You know. Yeah, we have one. Uh, I think we talked about poder. No pude, pude. Yeah, and okay. querer. We've got we've got them there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I might see if I can put them into the uh, okay into the information as well. Muy bien. So there you are. So ahora voy a intentar hablar de nuestros productos. Okay. Adelante, Gordon. Sí. <laughs> a word from our sponsor. What accent are you doing today? Ka no, 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 no accent. Mine, just mine. Your accent. Yeah, mine with mild, my northern, Geordie. northern vowels. Very mild, though. Mild, yeah. Very mild. You're an offence to the rest of the Geordie land. Yeah, it, 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 somebody <laughs> from Newcastle would listen to me saying, "So where are you from then?" <laughs> yeah, and anybody else goes, "You're straight. You're from the north." <laughs> I, I sometimes I just say one word, one word, and people go, oh, "You're from the north, aren't you?" Then come on, come on. You know what happened to me once? I was, when, when we lived in, in England, I was doing deliveries because I used to work for a company and I had to do deliveries. So I knocked on the door. This man opened the door and I, I said, hello, okay? And the guy said, where are you from? And he destroyed me. I was like, oh my God, is my hello so bad? And just by saying hello, Hey, you're not from here. Where are you from? <laughs> it, honestly, I felt so bad for such a long time that I thought, wow. So I just remember listening to people saying hello and see if I could but copy. But hey, you might have been meaning... I thought I'd just say what, hi. From what hi. part of England are you no, from? No, 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 because, no. <laughs> because where we lived, people would go, hello, <laughs> hello, no, hello. I think he looked at me and he thought, right, okay, where... Right. I yeah. think he heard me say hello. And Brown eyes, dark hair, slightly different accent. She must be from Russia. Yeah, from Germany. Somebody. Oh, Germany. I was. Yeah. yeah, from Germany. Yeah. Didn't they, you remember they said? And the, you know. No, there was a. Oh, don't the, feel bad about what oh happened in the God. war. There was a. Oh, there was a lovely couple, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Appleby, uh, and I used to deliver it, uh, to them as well, and they were so lovely. And one day, I mean, we talked loads. But one day they said, come in, come into the house. And I came in and they were talking to me. And she came over to me and she said, you know, it's, it's all right that you, um, it's all right that you're not from here or something like that. She said, and I was like, okay. <laughs> I thought, okay, thank you. <laughs> and then she said, um, you know, forget about the war. We don't, we, and I was like, what war? <laughs> Spanish Civil War? What war? Honestly, I was so confused. I was like, okay, history here, history. <laughs> what war? Uh, and then she says something about like uh, it's all right, you know. You don't, don't feel bad for being in the UK. You know, we we don't think about the war anymore. And then I don't know how I was so confused. And I was like, okay. And then I don't know what she said to me. 
oh, I don't know if she said what part of Germany, Germany are you from? You're and from. I was like, I said, I'm not from Germany, I'm from Spain. Honestly, I was like, what kind of war are they with? Don't, don't mention the war. Don't mention the war. No, but they were so sweet. Yeah. And I was like, oh, but thank you, though. Thank you. That was really nice. <laughs> I wanted to be German just to be more, even more thankful. Just you know, so like, they didn't feel embarrassed yeah, about getting it wrong. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm from Madrid in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, just south of just Germany. Just in very, yeah. Yeah, toward the south. <laughs> Dear me. Oh, so they listen, nice. they were nice. we wanted to talk about our products, okay? Um, oh my God, yeah. Yeah. I totally forgot about that. We got sidetracked into Germany. Now... <laughs> We want to highlight that Cynthia has done, up to now, two book clubs, okay, yes. which are available, and they're available on the website, so you can, if you would like to um, join in, it's all pre-recorded, and Cynthia talks you through the whole book, and you know what you've got to read before you watch each each of the, the episodes, um, and the books are, the first one is El Alquimista, El Alquimista. yeah, The Alchemist, and then the second one is... El Principito. El Principito. Okay, that's a slightly shorter one. Yeah. Um, both of them are great books, and the, Cynthia's done a fabulous job on... Thank you, huh? ...helping everybody... Well, that's the feedback that we get. Helping everyone to go through the book and understand, probably focusing more on grammar than the, than the story, yes? I, I, um, I do a summary every mm-hmm. week, so you know with how many pages we read. Obviously, I can't read with with you guys for uh, copyright uh, <laughs> problems. Sure. Uh-huh. Um, but I do a summary of all those pages. And then we go. Th- I go through um, grammatical terms that I find uh, interesting or you know, that stand out for some reason. It could be anything. It could be subjunctive or it could be an expression or a word. Yeah. Anything that stands out for me and I know it's going to be helpful. Mm-hmm. Um, and then... At the end of the book, then we do like a like a roundup of Brandy. you know yeah. the, the ideas of the book or you know the characters. Mm-hmm. But it's yeah. mostly about understanding the the grammar. Yeah. And if yeah. if I were going to recommend one, if you haven't read El Alquimista, if you haven't read it, read it. It's a life. El Alquimista book. is a beautiful book, and everybody who did the course with me loved the book. Yeah. I think what well, um, almost everybody truly beautiful. <laughs> I think there was only yeah. one, one person, person who, that didn't who didn't like. like that, yeah. it, well, you know, not all books are for no, every, no, everybody. No, no, of course not. Uh, understandable. Yeah. Uh, but I think it's a personally, it's a beautiful book. Now I'm working on a third book club, which is uh, coming up soon, um, November, and this is going to be um, Brújulas que buscan sonrisas perdidas. Mm. Okay, this is also a very nice book, but not, yeah, it's got nothing to do with The Alchemist no, or completely or different Principito. style. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but uh, uh, spoiler alert when Cynthia finished the book, I don't walked, say that because I walked it, into the house and don't. she was crying. And I said, What happened? Is everything all right? She was, it's just the I finished the book and it was beautiful. So yeah. there you are. So it must I be should. a nice one. Yeah, all right. So you, you can find those uh, on our website. And then if you want to, you could do that one while you're waiting for Cynthia to, to produce the next one. Okay. Entonces, eso es todo. Ahora nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Hasta luego. Adiós. Adiós.